Hello, this is Herman Asterwijk, and this is a presentation on DICOM configuration. In this case, we're going to talk about how to configure a DICOM modality, but you should realize that uh, there's really not a lot of difference between configuring a DICOM modality or PAX or modality workers provider or printer. They all have the same configuration parameters that are needed. So we'll talk a little bit about the uniqueness requirements for the addressing and then so many other parameters that you need to set up typically in a DICOM device. And we'll show you a little demo using OT Dice, which is a DICOM modality simulator, and we'll go over some additional resources. Now let's first talk a little bit about the addressing at the application level. So a device has an AE title, application entity title, and the application entity title um, that is assigned to a modality, for example, is always unique. Now in this case, we'll see different AE titles. There is a calling AE title. Uh, which is the service class user. Basically, that's the AE title is used when a modality or any other device opens a DICOM association. The second class of AE titles will be the called AE title, and that is the AE title used when another device talks or wants to communicate or wants to open an association to the particular device where you want to configure the DICOM settings. And then thirdly, C class C, you want to configure the destination. So in our scenario, there will be a calling AE title. There will be a called AE title, for example, if this workstation wants to do a query of this modality. And then we have four destinations. One will be a workless provider, and one will be a PAX archive, for example, and might, one might be a PAX database, image manager, and the fourth will be a workstation. Now there are some additional parameters that you also might need to set up, and these are first of all the IP addresses, second the port numbers, a port number is very important to make sure that they are unique as well. Uh, there's a couple of choices about port numbers, the commonly known and mostly used port number is 104, however it is strongly recommended to use the more recent uh, official DICOM port number which is 11112 this is assigned by the IANA Internet Authority in particular for the purpose of DICOM communication then there is the PDU sizes, protocol data units um, they sometimes could impact performance and then some devices have actually a transfer selection capable capability that allow you to pick any transfer syntaxes that are used for sending the images. Um, a good scenario would be, for example, if you know that a, a device down the line does not support a particular compression technique, you might want to force the sender to send, let's say, uncompressed, which could be explicit via little engine. And I don't get confused with host names, they don't have really actually have a real meaning in the DICOM domain, even although some of the vendors use the AE title for the host name. I think uh, I would consider that bad practice. So let's go started. We need to download the modality simulator from OT Dice and we'll look at the different configuration parameters. So after installing OT Dice, you'll see this particular screen and you would see that the modes are on the left. And so instead of looking at the capabilities of sending and querying databases, we're going to just now focus in this particular presentation on the setup. So the first configuration, uh, like I mentioned before, will be the calling. AE title, and in this case, for example, I call it HOSCU, so that would be the first thing, calling AE title, this is the AE title used when this device communicates with another device. Now, you need to make sure that this is of course unique, and in many cases you actually have to configure the same AE title at the destination. For example, an archive might only accept any information from any devices that are known to it, and being known meaning AEP address and a e title being known. Then we need to uh, set up the configure nodes. We do the SCP node details. So that is in the case that a device also is able to uh, receive any requests or information or receive images or receive queries. And we see the 
we set up 11112, which is the well-known port number that is highly recommended. And the protocol data unit size, in this case is 10,000. I would typically look at the uh, range of PDUs, uh, PDU settings, which should be in a conformance statement, and maybe go in the middle of that range. And then if there's any issues or concerns about performance, go to the lowest and the highest and let's see if there's any impact. And in this case, we can also uh, modify the wide transfer syntax. If an image comes in, for example, that is JPEG compressed, we could actually uh, uh, store it as an uncompressed file, vice versa. And we can also uh, select whether we want to write the image with or without the meta header. Then we can, in this case, also specify the subclasses and the transfer syntax that we would like to receive. So we've done two components. We have done the SCU, SCP details. Now we need to talk with the other destinations. So now we go to so SCU, configure nodes, and then we want to set up the settings that I already pre-configured, -pre for example, to a modality workplace provider. In this case, the I call it the broker. Make sure we have a unique IP address. And then, of course, port number again, 11112, uh, the well-known port number. We need to make sure that we have the AE title that is used for that particular device. Um, PDU size again, in this case is 20,000. So timeout, application level timeout, this is used to uh, for the DICOM connection to wait. In this case, it's three seconds uh, before it gives a timeout message. And then the transfer syntaxes. In this case, I'm going to collect three different transfer syntaxes that are proposed by this device to a destination. And then we need to repeat that. I did it just for the broker. I need to do it, for example, for a uh, PAX system. Uh, in this case, I have a uh, Conquest server that is set up with 10.10.10.199. Uh, uh, as you can see, the port number 5678 should actually be 11112. Um, and in this case, the Conquest server came actually with a default 5678. And if you have that uh, particular case, I would definitely recommend to make it 11112 as well. So we, after we do it all OK, we're done. Now, you see that it's, it's relatively easy to set up a DICOM modality. So to repeat, make sure you have unique AE titles. You set up your calling, called AE titles, and the AE titles of the device you want to talk with. Make sure you have the uh, uh, IP address correct. The, uh, the ITE titles should be unique. And uh, of course, uh, a port numbers are important as well. I would highly recommend 11112 and then any additional configurations. Now, if some of this DICOM lingo became a little bit, was a little bit foreign to you, there is um, a lot of information about DICOM on the web. Uh, you can also attend some of our online classes, face-to-face -face classes, and there's a textbook on DICOM as well. There are several lot of videos on how to use these different tools. And of course, always, if you have other suggestions about any future topics, do not hesitate to send us an email. Appreciate your attention. Enjoy.